uh, welcome back everyone so in the previous video we talked about the for in loop for of loop but we haven't explored what actually the for of loop internally do this is newly added in the es6 and we have already talked about this so let's cover this up so uh, in es6 we have these different generator functions which are started with the asterisk function and they are just yielding the values these are just uh, these are just new paradigm to manage the asynchronous view of dealing with the functions so it is it is actually doing the function pose whenever it is yielding the one then it is yielding the value two so you can decide what need to be returned from the function uh, at the runtime right so every generator function will give you the iterable object so if you do the console dot log x it will be a iterable object which is in which most probably will be an empty array right empty object so iterable object gives you the generator function x and whenever you do the x dot next what it is giving you it is giving you the first yield value from the function and done as false because we still need to do we still expecting more values so now the next do whenever whenever we do dot next again then we are getting value 2 and done false and we are again doing it then obviously we don't have the new value coming from function because it's not yielding another value it is yielding only two values so value undefined then is true right so this kind of a code which we are writing using dot next function on an iterable object that can be done with the for of loop so for of loop is actually used to iterate on the iterable objects and it is internally doing dot next to get the values from an iterable object so generator function forget about this for now i used it to create a iterable object but this iterable object can be an array array is already an iterable object can be a map can is already an iterable object but if you wanted to create a iterable object some custom iterable objects which is generated by the gener generator function you can do something like this so for of loop you can see it will be printing the values one by one it's printing one and two right here i close the iterator but uh, i can return all the values one and two right so now iterable objects are array array is always an iterable object and you can just run the iteration it will just print all the values under it similarly there is a map you can get all the entries inside the map because map is an iterable object so all different kind of a collections map set array uh, weak set weak map all are iterable objects and you can run for of loop onto them to get the values out of it like for in loop is there okay this is all about the for of loop this generator function we will talk more in depth when we discussed es6